All right, what's up, guys? Welcome to another Dawn of War replay with yours truly, Everlast. Hell yeah. Uh, today, uh, I don't know. I don't know what I was going to say after that. Okay, uh, it's Space Marines versus Chaos Space Marines. Uh, me as Force Commander, uh, Kalar as Tech Marine. Exads as Tech Marine, Melon as Plague Champion, Rishman Whole Wheat as Chaos Sorcerer, and Blood Sweet Kill as Chaos Lord. Okay, right now, uh, Exads is popping out an uh, another um, Tactical Space Marine Squad. Me and Kalar already have ours popped out. Rishman Whole Wheat's popping out another. Chaos Heretic Squad. Right now, me and uh, Melon are going to clash for this power node. Yeah, here we go, right here. He killed a model. I lost one model in my scout squad. Um, he did the ritual thing. I forgot what they're called. A ritual to buff up his... Uh, Space Marines, Chaos Space Marine Squad. I'm my. I told my um. Sorry, I don't know what the fuck that was. <laughs> I told my uh, Space Marine Squad to aim at his Chaos Heretics, and now his Chaos Space Marines are aiming at my Space Marines. They're dropping a lot of health. Let's go over here towards the middle by Kalar. He clashed with uh, Urshman Holy for that victory point. Richmond Holwitz pushing him back with this Chaos Heretics. Right here, he's gonna use the suicide. Yep, there we go, as I predicted. Uh, well, that uh, Chaos Heretics just suicide bombed the hell out of his Space Marines. His Chaos Sorcerer is down. Yes, that's, that's right, it's down. His Scouts just retreated, lost the model. Let's go over here. Uh, Exad just pushed back the Chaos Lord for uh, Blood Sweet Kill. Now his heretics have grenade launchers aiming at, I guess, the ground. Yeah, what you just heard is true. The sorcerer is back at the base. Over here, I got second um, scout squad. I had him like I don't know a few minutes ago before he retreated. Got another scout squad, my half health uh, tactical marine squad, and I gave my force commander the chain sword and storm shield and the iron halo. Uh, Kalar didn't give his tech marine anything, so did Exads, did not. Melon, nope. Urshman Holy, nope. Uh, scout lord, nope. I guess I'm the only one with upgrades for my commander. Right here, I'm pushing him back. I'm using Kraken rounds to penetrate his armor. Armor piercing there, really nice. Uh, he lost one model in this Chaos Space Marine squad. Got a turret up, suppressed. But since I have the Storm uh, Shield, I have Unsuppression, so I use that. I guess I don't. I guess I did not use it. I guess that's with the Armor of Alacrity, I get that. Let's go to the middle where Kalar is pulling back his scout squad. His tactical space marines are still there. Now they're shooting at Richmond Holy's Chaos Heretics. And the turret suppressed them, so they're getting killed right now. Uh, got, gave the upgrade. Um, uh, poop. Um... I don't know, he gave them an upgrade, I believe, or did not, I don't know, his weapons are just glowing, it seemed like an upgrade. Uh, Bless We Kill is putting up his forces together and charging at Exads. He's placing down a turret, is he gonna get it on in time? Yes, he does. Unfortunately, the Chaos Lord cannot get suppressed, but his Chaos Space Marines and uh, Heretics got suppressed but the turret is getting heavily damaged by the Chaos Lord and the Chaos Lord's retreating 
so is plus two kills forces. Alright. Over here, uh, say Kalar is pushing back. Use the shotgun suppression. So, uh, this Chaos Space Marine lost two models. Chaos Heretics are, they only have three models left. Let's see over here. Did I get this power node? No, I did not. Not yet. And I was just about to support Kalar, but unfortunately, Melon came just in time when Urshman Holy pulled back to support him. Um, what we kill is putting, well, replenish his forces, got their health back up, and is moving back in to, a, to fight Exads, even though Exads is being passive and really not going to capture this power or this money, even though he could, he could just go from here, flank him while he's still moving, and just got him. The turret is still suppressing and harassing uh, Melon's forces, and Melon just put down a turret. Here's me flanking his turret, Melon's turret. Flanking it, and I'm gonna activate Kraken rounds right about, I guess not yet. I get his turret down, but Melon and his forces are pulling back to come to me since I am destroying his power. I'm gonna capture it soon. Urshman Holy sent in Chaos Space Marines to the middle. Oh, and what we kill sent in forces to flank over uh, Exad's turrets and forces. I'm about to destroy his power, but Melon, unfortunately, is probably not going to go and fight me for it. Thank God. I'm about to destroy it. And got it. Let's go to the middle where the battle is happening. Kalar is trying to hold, but then Exabs comes and flanks Blood Sweet Kill's forces from the back. They are pincered. Unfortunately, they get retreat from here, but his forces are getting massacred. He only has one Chaos Space Marine squad left. Oh man. His forces just got massacred. Chaos Lord is down. Middle is open for the taking, but unfortunately the turret is still there. I'm going to support uh, Kalar and his forces. Chaos Space, uh, Chaos Space Marine. Oh man. Uh, Chaos Sorcerer got down by the turret, was pinned, got suppressed. My forces just went in to help. Kalar, but pulled his tactical squad back, and I am facing off with uh, the turret that Melon put down. He sent in his forces, putting down a turret right here, about to capture this victory uh, point. I sent in my captain, my force commander, sorry, to uh, take him on, but. I thought it was only his plague uh, champion, but unfortunately, it's his war whole force. My forces is here protecting this node. I was gonna capture that power, but I didn't know if there was a force there. But unfortunately, there's only chaos heretics and a sorcerer. Wasn't gonna take any chances, so I'm pulling my forces back to deal with this power uh, victory point. Oh man. Um, I have two Space Marine squads. Just popped out this one. Uh, upgraded to Tier 2. Now, Kalar is sending his tactical squad to support me over here. And I'm sending my forces back also. I believe my force commander, yeah, I revived them. And now we're just gonna massacre Melon and his forces right here. In the, well, by my side. Ah. Oh got his uh, noise marines but pulled him back right away pulling his forces back we're gonna deal with that turret right now when once and for all destroyed it and Melon pulled his forces back Archman Holitz moving up is about to capture this victory point and he is Exad's still being passive 
which I thought was unfortunate since he had a large force. You could say he has two tactical space marine squad and the scout squad. He could have been more aggressive and went for this power po uh, PowerPoint power node, but uh, but we kill got to tier two, popped out blood crusher to deal with his forces to deal with exact forces. And it's popping out a uh, Chaos Dread not to send in to harass Exads. Uh, Kalar and Mia fighting here in the middle with Urshman Holwit's forces, but unfortunately cannot hold it. Because he had Chaos Havocs upgraded with the Mark of Zeech, giving them the last cannon. Kalar comes from the back, flanks him, destroys his Chaos Havocs moving up to destroy his Chaos Space Moon Squad and Heretics, but unfortunately Melon comes from behind, attacks him right there, but those Noise Marines can't do anything with those Noise Marines harassing him, so pulls the forces back. Then Melon pulls his forces back to probably capture this power, I mean victory point, I'm sorry, again. Uh, let's see how Exad is doing, got one of his turrets destroyed. The Blood Crusher is on the verge of death, has 13 health left, now one. One more shot from the squad would have destroyed that. Now, a uh, Blood Sweet Kill is sending in this Dreadnought. Moving up. Uh, Kalar got his um, Razor back. Now Melon is going for my Power Node. And unfortunately, unfortunately my forces are here, getting replenished, getting their health up. And I believe I was going to go for that power node, but I don't think I was going to take the chance and go unless I got a Dreadnought on the field or a Predator tank. But I'm going from the back probably uh, to flank him, I think so. I don't know if his forces were there, but I took the chance and sent my scout, uh, scout squad ahead to see if there was any turrets. If there was, going to get killed by it. Then Kalar sends his uh, Razor back to fight uh, Melon's forces and sent his tactical squads, all three of them, to deal with it. I sent my forces from there instead of behind, but I sent my uh, scouts from the back and full force armor going from the front. Gave his, uh, is this noise going to light? Yeah, gave um, the Blastmaster. That's a vehicle killer and infantry killer, I guess, pushes it back. It's like a Plasma Devastator squad, you could say, but Chaos Operation, of course, everyone knows that. We just massacred his force. Hope I kill his Plague Champion, but I think he gets away just in time. Don't kill him, but we push him back severely. He loses a lot of models. Only had two models left in Chaos Space Marine squad. This one still full, but lost a little bit of health. Uh, I guess Exad's got harassed over here by uh, Blood Sweet Kill. Kalar pushing down to attack the power nodes and the power generator. Destroys all three, going for the power node, destroys that too. Going to flank, probably, I'm guessing. Our uh, Urshman Holwitz forces, even they have. Blah, 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 slow down. They all have the mark of Zeech, including his dreadnought. Yes, he has the mark of Zeech. They all do. They're invisible, luckily. Kalar doesn't see the forces. The dreadnought opens fire, doing a barrage of missiles, suppresses his tactical squad. I come from behind and just start sh opening fire at him, shooting, he drops in the drop pod, uh, loses control of the Razorback, gets destroyed, rear armor hit, unfortunately, then I believe, yeah, Melon sends in that uh, noxious cloud, uh, wow, uh, Kalar lost a lot of models here, got two models in that squad, two models in that, full model in that, but lost a lot of health. I'm still in the middle, Exad still being passive, 
Then here comes Blood Sweet Kill with one Chaos Space Marine Force. Uh, prob yeah, right here, his Chaos Dreadnought is getting healed up. Um, his Blood Crusher gonna get healed, but I don't know when that's gonna happen. Uh, I get a Dreadnought push in for Blood Sweet Kill. I lose, uh, two models in this squad, only have one mob left. I didn't, yeah, lose them, uh, lost a model in that. Thank God Exabs came when he could. Started pushing back Blood Sweet Kill. His this is Chaos Lord gonna get down. Unfortunately, hopefully, let's see. Yep, I took him down just in time, just in the nick of time, got him. Melon pushed up his forces, going to the middle. I pulled back my forces to replenish. Here comes uh, Kalar with his uh, forces. All replenished, hopefully. Yes, they are all replenished. Some of, um, only one squad, or, yeah, two squads at kind of full health, still in the middle. This one, not that much. This one still needs to get healed up. Have my Dreadnought guarding this area, but I'm pulling him back probably towards, oh, no, just leaving him there. Going in to capture this, but saw there was turrets, so I said, Fuck it, gonna pull him back. Not gonna risk it for a little requisition point. My forces are getting replenished. Getting uh, healing them up right now. Blood Sweet Kill sends in his Blood Crusher again. And sending his, uh. What's that thing called? A Chaos Dreadnought. The thing's on the verge of dying, the Blood Crusher. If he just gave him his troops a rocket, yeah, he did. Nice plasma weapon shooting at it. Uh, they are really good at armor. Took them down. Now going for the Chaos Dreadnought. I was going to send in mine, but I thought I did, but turns out I didn't. To support Exads, but you can see he's dealing with it good. Targeted it, got it down, destroyed it. Now Blood Sweet Kill is sending in uh, Chaos Space Marine Squad. Uh, yeah, with the Mark of Zeech and Chaos Cultist with Grenade Launchers. Chaos Heretics. Oh my god. Uh, right here. I I missed. I know. That was a bad miss. I don't know if you guys saw that, but that was really bad. I missed his Death Guard, unfortunately. But my Chaos... Oh, uh, my Chaos Dreadnought. My Dreadnought just came in, supporting my Assault Squad. Me and uh, Kalar just... Pushed back Melon and uh, Urshman Holy from the middle. Gonna destroy that turret, take it out. There's two models left in that Plague Marine squad. Uh, Urshman Holy uh, has forces. Still, he just pulled them back to get health. He just got a Chaos Predator tank with the Mark of Zeech. Gives a multi, uh, I think, last cannons. Yeah, right? Am I right? Twin twin length blast cannons. Yeah, two. Uh exact um Kalar, sorry. Uh shooting at the power node trying to get it down. Urshman Holy is just moving up his Chaos Sorcerer to do a dome bolt blast. Or not. What is he doing? What are you Oh teleported his forces right there. Oh man, that was a great surprise attack. My force is still here. Now they're pushing up. Unfortunately, I lose my Assault Squad to the Chaos Predator tank. I believe so. Yeah, I shouldn't have made them launch at that. There we go, right there, right into the middle of the forces. I try to pull my Assault Squad back, one model left in it. Then, I think that shoots at it, or a Plasma, a Renegade Plasma Bolt just hits on the back. Or he doesn't die. Oh no, he didn't die. Alright, never mind then, I take that back. Then we push back. I try to push, but he has the Mark of Zeech and the Twin Link Blast Cannons. Those things are vehicle killers, and I lost my kit. Oh, my train out right there. Exad's still being passive. If he could, oh, if he would, sent him his forces, we would have destroyed them right in the middle. We are pushing, we're like 
on the verge of winning, basically. But uh, Urshman always forces capture the victory point. Still being passive over here, which I did not like. Lost half of my forces, basically, kind of. I don't know, I wasn't paying attention. I pulled them back. Uh, Kalar's forces are being replenished over here. So is my tactical Space Marine squad. And we all just... He sends his whole squad to go into the middle. Those uh, Mark of the Siege bolters are taking down his Space Marines. Those things... Oh, and right there... Perfect placement for whatever that was. I forgot what's called. Perfect placement for that. Almost lost the tactical Space Marine squad. Only lost two, uh, no, two models left in there. Uh, Kalar lost his whole force. Only has one tactical Space Marine squad left. And got Terminator squad just in the nick of time before, uh, Blood Sweet kills uh, Chaos Lord down there with a mole, Blood Maul, the Armor Inferno, and the Icon of Z. Ah, Corn, sorry. Making him like a good tank and damage dealer at the same time. Urshman Holy doing Dome Blasts. I tried to destroy his Predator tank but did not work. But, uh, no, not his. Sorry. That one. Uh, Blood, Blood Sweet kill. Color destroyed. Melon's Predator tank, but Urshman Holweeks, um, Chaos Predator still, uh, Chaos Dreadnought, apologies, uh, with the Mark of Zeke still, here comes Exads with his Dreadnought, he had another Dreadnought but kept it here, that had the multi melta he could have sent that in and that would just killed off this and that, but, he didn't attack since this happened, but good thing he uh, kept that here, but unfortunately he kept it here also. It would have been good and bad if he sent it, because if he sent it, his forces would have got destroyed, and that Dreadnought would have destroyed everything here. Then sent his forces to deal with that Chaos Predator tank. Uh, only upgraded to the Mark of Corn to give it, uh, to do more damage, I'm guessing, uh, I don't know, I never played as Chaos. I'm sending in my forces from behind to flank Urshman, Holy, and Melon's forces. But still, uh, Kalar kept his forces here. Then, uh, it would have been a great flank if these Chaos Heretics did not go from there. Because I believe they knew I was coming. Yeah, and here we go. Um, they're about to jump. And are they going to jump? Uh, no. But they are, they are going to die over here, my soul squad. I remember now. I'm getting rear armor hits on that Predator tank. But the Dome Blast was just chewing up my guys. So was the Mark of Zeech, uh Bolters. I had to pull my guys back. One model left in that squad. How many miles? Oh, four miles left here. I should have kept them there because they have the rocket. Kalar is. Oh, Archer and Hallway made Kalar's Terminators turn against them. He has Devastator squad up and ready. Oh man, nice blast right there. Xavs is pulling his dreadnought back. He should have sent it all his like whole force here since blood sweet kills being a bit passive and building up his army Another nice shot But if he moved it up a little bit more since he's gonna do right now Oh, no, he moved it back if he moved him up like over here or something He would have got a clean shot on that chaos predator tank took its health down a lot but unfortunately the chaos heretics are repairing the predator tank see nice real armor head right there to cap of its health down sending in this chaos uh, chaos sending in his terminator squad 
but pulled them back immediately since they were getting chewed up. Another shot, but it was towards the turret. Like I said, if he just moved those devastators up a bit, got a clean shot on that. Placing the turret, Kalaris, right there by Exab's dreadnought. Takes another shot, misses, unfortunately. Let that, there we go, the turret get down. Almost got uh, the cow sorcerer suppressed, but did not work. Uh, the victory point is getting taken, I believe, by my guy, Gap. Yeah. Oh, wait, no, my guy's dead. Who is that? Oh, Kalar's uh, tactical space marine. One model left with only 15 health. Oh, man, just one more shot would have killed him. The Devastator uh, Plasma Squad still missing shots. I sent my scout squad in to uh, capture that, but unfortunately, they did a bad job. Pulled them back. I thought I could have captured it, but unfortunately I cannot. Force commander still down. Exact still being passive, keeping his forces by his base, repelling uh, blood sweep kills forces. Took down his chaos lord. Kalar and me are trying to push, but cannot. I just got my land raider. Lost the tactical space marine squad. Okay, uh, um, hold on, that was, I don't know what the fuck that was. <laughs> uh, the um, terminators got pushed back very hard right there. If this wasn't here, oh man, we would have done a lot of damage, but the Chaos Shrine of Siege is just doing dome blasts, which are supporting the forces of Urshwin Always Army. Right there like that. I don't know, uh, yeah. Summon Blood Letters. I believe it's Urshwin Holweeds. Yeah, yeah. Trying to fight off the Terminators. And the Devastator squad. Gonna pull him back. Loses another model. One model left. Here comes me just in the nick of time. But. Um, unfortunately, Kalar's forces pulled back. I send my Land Raider to deal with that Chaos Predator. Am I gonna shoot my uh, thing at him? Or. Or not? I think that was Kalar. Yeah, I believe so. Destroyed it. Oh man. We did one hell of a push, but Melon's forces are right here. I mean, I lose. I lose. I lost a lot of health on my Land Raider. I'm probably gonna right here, yeah, do that. Took a lot of his forces down. But Blood Sweet Kill just arrived in time with this Chaos Predator, Twin Linked, Last Cannon. Getting rear armor hits on my land raider, taking a lot of damage from this anti-vehicle unit. I believe that was my, yeah, that was my thing. My level bombardment, unfortunately, missed badly. Then here comes in the great unclean one. Gun my land raider is about to get destroyed by that, I believe so. And does not, but he gets destroyed by something. I think by this tactical uh, chaos space marine squad. I do not know who destroys it, but he does get destroyed. I pulled in my scout squad to repair it, but unfortunately, one shot. Oh no, one hit, another hit, destroys it, oh, it's out of control, crashes right there, I believe I'm going to buy another one, yeah, I'm going to buy another one soon, we're all at tier 3, we're shooting, we're giving all heavy fire on that great one. 
Uh, Kalar gave his uh, Predator tank twin link uh, last cannon, shooting at Great Unclean One, taking his health down by a lot. Then uh, whatever that thing is again, forgot what's called. I'm jogging my memory, but can't get it right. Uh, took out Kalar's forces. Only has a Chaos Predator and Terminator squad with two models left in it. Getting another model. There we go. Taking heavy fire from uh, Melon's forces with their anti-armor guns. The Great Unclean One just got killed. Sending in my forces. All is quiet. Kind of. No battle happening. Everyone's just pulling back, regrouping whatever they have except for Chaos. My team is, me and Kalar are, we pulled back, trying to repair all the damage we just got dealt with. Exad's being passive, if he sent his forces in to support us, we would have pushed them back a while ago, but unfortunately we did not. Right here, I do another little bombardment, but missed terribly with that Predator tank turning and going away. Push, trying to push back over here. I cannot with those, the tank shooting at us like that. Then I think one shot from that tank yet destroys that Kalar's Predator tank. Lose his control, got a nice rear armor hit. Right here, Melon's forces and Urshman Holmwick's forces are together. Pushing us back. Is that Urshman Holmwick's? Yeah, it is. Nice pushback by both of them. I got another Land Raider. But. We're pushing back hardest we can. I told Exads uh, to go here to capture this. But got a great unclean one. Exads had to pull back. Gonna fight him on his turf. On his own turf, like Exads' turf. Melon sent in a Plague Marine squad to capture this. I sent in my squad. To fight them off, but these guys are anti-vehicle, but mine's anti-infantry. Fighting them off, they're gonna lose a model pretty soon. Uh, pretty soon. Fighting over there in the middle. I send my uh, land raider to fight them off. Um. Chaos Space Marines only have 55 points left, while my team has 85 points left. Hate that thing. Hate it utterly. Hate Ashman Holy's Chaos Predator. I pushed back uh, Melon's Force, recapturing my uh, victory point. Trying to capture this. Uh, Colors trying to capture this victory point. I think it he is successful or is not, I do not recall. And he is successful, got it, and I got mine up. And we're pushing harder than ever, trying to like win. But again, those anti-armor guns are just chewing up my health, my Land Raider's health. And that twin link glass cannon tank is just chewing up my guy, my Land Raider up. And the Great Unclean One just arrives in time. It's a battle of the Titans right now, basically. Lose control. Was, gonna, was about to destroy that until this guy arrived. Kalar's Terminator Force got beat up a lot. I forgot my captain was standing there, told him to heal him up, but did not listen. Losing his all his energy. About to get killed right there, but got Kellars. Tech Marine up, then got back down. 
Got another land raider. I know I'm spending all this money on land raiders. They pushed really hard, captured that. Then uh, Melon is sending back his Plague Marines to capture my um, victory point. Over here, Exads is trying to fight the Great Unclean One. The Great Unclean One still has a little bit of health left. If he aimed his forces, he's, yeah, aiming all his gun or his firepower on the Great Unclean One. Me and Kalar just have nothing left. Uh, everything we had are, like got utterly destroyed. I did a, a I believe that was mine, I do not recall, but thank god for that audible strike, but it did not help us at all, since the predator tanks are still there, and there, there's three now. Uh, Melon is capturing that, pushing us really back, we're losing a lot of points. I did not realize it, till the last minute, and they just captured it in time. And pushing us back really hard but losing points very fast it was a great game everyone here was really great exads i'll just give you one thumb up if i had to give you stars i would give you like five out of ten i'm sorry but i'd give you that here's the battlefield everything was really good thanks uh for the support from all the players for being like really supportive to each other being nice, no one being an asshole, everyone's just helping each other out. So thanks for watching. I'll have another Dawn of War replay probably up tomorrow. I just uh, got one up today. I know my voice is low on that one, but I'm going to see if my voice is low on this one. going to check that out. So uh, thanks for watching, and you know what to do. Subscribe, like, just... Yeah, do what you gotta do. Thanks for watching, guys. See you next time.